Hi, multi-subject team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I want to talk to the teachers that are currently in the Go Academy multi-subject class. We just finished day two, so I'm going to give you some suggestions on how to approach day three, and I'm going to give you some suggestions on how to approach the material that we're covering for your exam, okay? So, so let's take a look at that right now, all right? Hi, multi-subject team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. You know, we just finished day two, and I want to give you some ideas on how to approach day three and how to uh, approach your studies. And I'm talking directly to the teachers that are taking the general curriculum 178, the 76, and the 73. And I think the first thing you need to, to really, really start to focus in on is you want to go to the packet, and you want to start to look at that vocabulary that we do in the class, okay? Because as you do each of the sections, some of the sections we're doing together and some of the sections you're gonna do on your own, you really wanna go back to this list and through your packet notes, and you wanna to start to mark for yourself, okay, we focused on this, or the video targeted that concept. And you wanna to start to mark those and highlight those ideas, okay? It, it, those are good ideas to just be cl clear on so that you can go through and you can answer basic questions. For example, one of the ideas under uh, that we did was the uh, Neolithic Agriculture Revolution. This one right here, right? We we had this one in the class, the Neolithic Agriculture Revolution, and and by reviewing that one idea, when we came across a, a, a question with that idea, we were able to answer it very quickly. Let me pull up the question that we had. It was the first question that we did in the packet with with a basic understanding of the Neolithic Ar Agriculture Revolution. We were able to navigate through this problem. So what I'm asking you to do, team, is I'm asking you to spend a little bit of extra time. And it doesn't matter if you're a 178, a 76, or a 73 history teacher. You want to start and you want to work through your concept list, okay? Highlight things that are covered on the course, in the videos, in the class. Mark it up on your term sheet. Make sure you work through the videos. And as you go through, mark up this sheet. See how many ideas are covered, okay? There's no way we can do all of them in this class. And this is for both history and ELA. No way we can do all of them. But if we highlight something, you should have the basics so that you can answer, let's say, a multiple choice question. You have enough to navigate through the question. Here's something else that you can do before going into day three. One of the assignments was to work on your essay. And let me pull up that essay that we did in the class today. Remember the Magna Carta essay that we were working on? And we went through a brief history of the Magna Carta. So one, another assignment, something else that you could work on before uh, tomorrow's session is you can work on your write-up for the essay. And I've given you a couple different write-ups here, samples of what this could look like. You can decide how much you want to write. Do you want to write the whole thing? Do you want to try and do a whole 300, 330 word essay? Do you want to just target one paragraph? We have an outline that we covered in the class. You decide how much you want to do this. Do you want to do the whole thing? Do you want to just do one really good paragraph on document one, one really good paragraph on document two? That's something that you could do before the next class. And that would go for everyone. And then the last thing, the last thing you could do is, is, is not a necessarily a study thing. No, no, no. The last thing you could do is something like this. Here, let me, let me share my screen. For this one right here, I'm going to go to the website and I'm going to go to under workshops, uh, the team poster page. And I'm going to just go to this page and I want to share this page with you. This is the one where you come up with your team poster with an original name, five colors and over the top positive. And this is something that you could do if you were looking for an activity to do before our last session. Now, this goes again for all the teachers in the group. OK, and, and here's why you might want to participate in this activity, coming up with a creative, you know, positive, very visual, uh, fun, uh, inspiring team poster. Here's why you might want to do this. Because your participation in this stuff, okay, in the class, during teacher consultations, whether you call up on the phone or send an email, uh, whether you send in your essay, all these things that involve your participation really do translate into a teacher that's more engaged and, and learning and covering more of the content. 
And so when you when you you submit an awesome an awesome poster like this, I mean, this is from Chloe. Emma, this one, yeah, this one is from Chloe. Isn't this awesome? You can tell that she's really in it. She's playing the game. She's having fun learning the math. I need you to do that for this class. Now, now you're not you're you're not doing math or science, so that's not going to be the theme of your poster. But your theme of the posters can be so much more. I mean, you have history and ELA to choose from. And by doing this, you're really you're making this a game, and that's the idea. By thinking by coming up with a team name and investing in a team name, you're going to be that teacher that inspires the group. Okay, and maybe you might just inspire yourself to dig into this material, okay? So I encourage you. There's lots of ways to participate between now and the last class. One way is to review the terms. Another way is to go through the essay and send, send in your essay. A third way is to do an awesome, inspiring team poster, okay? All right, team. This is the feedback I want to give to teachers, okay? There's more than enough study material to do right now. You have all the videos posted on the website. So, so there's if you want to get ahead with the content, you can. Uh, I will be seeing everyone tomorrow for a final session. But try and do some of these things that I'm suggesting in this video before tomorrow's session. And that goes for all my teachers, okay? Everyone in the group, try and do a couple of these activities before tomorrow's session. I'll see everyone tomorrow at 5.30. Take care, team. Bye-bye. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I want you to give it a big thumbs up. And if you need help on these exams, you're looking for some additional support, I want you to go to Go Academy's website. You can go to this website right here at www.goacademy.com and you can see all our classes. These are live classes. They have a live component. They're webinars, but they have a live, live webinar component as well as um, full access to all the videos that Go Academy does. I'm sure you're going to find these classes very helpful if you need the extra help. So check it out if you do. All right, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.